You, you, you got to cry out to God and say, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. I ain't got off the message. I ain't got off the message. I'm flowing. I'm flowing in the Holy Ghost. We thank God for the work of sanctification. Amen. Welcome into this broken vessel. Glory to God to bring deliverance and to bring exhortation and comfort to the men and women of God. The 16th verse to the 18th verse. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. He that believeth that is baptized shall be saved. He what? He that believeth that is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth. They're going to work belief again. Which is which connect to faith. That's right. See, belief is the seed to the faith. That's right. You got to have. You gotta, the Bible said faith is like a mustard seed. Just, faith is, you know what? Faith is smaller than the booger. Now, we all look at me. Y'all know how a booger looks. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. But faith, belief is the seed to, 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 to faith. Mm -hmm. Belief is one that is a seed that feeds the faith. That's right. Amen. All you have to do is believe. Just believe. Yeah. Come on, read that. Come on. He that believeth that is baptized shall be saved. Come on. But he that believeth not shall be damned. But he that believeth not shall be damned, which means cursed. Yeah. Amen. That's why the enemy fights our belief and our faith. Because yeah. he don't want us to enter into the blessing. Yeah. The only way you want to enter into the blessing, you will have to believe. Now the children of Israel went on that journey, crossed over to the promised land. It was a two week journey and it took them 40 years to cross over. They couldn't cross over because they didn't believe. They are believing. Stop them for 40 years. It was supposed to be just for two weeks. Two weeks. When you don't believe and trust God, it'll stop your progress and God. Yes, it will. In the Holy Ghost, no blacks be held up. Amen. You think you've been, man, you know what? Some of you just living off God's mercy. You think you, you think you, wait till you experience the blessing. Yes. I said, wait till you experience the blessing. You ain't gonna know what to do with yourself. Jesus. Yes, Lord. I'm gonna tell you, God's bringing us to another level. Yes, yes. yes. No more living just off of crumbs. Amen. Uh uh, no, uh, 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 uh. It's time for the whole tank. Amen. Oh, I want it. See, the devil wants his people to be used to crumbs. Yes, he do. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. The Holy Ghost wants to stretch his people to trust him and believe in the impossible. Amen. Yes, sir. Devil wants God's people to be numb. In a numb state, like we take a decon. Some have you ever, ever saw a rat eat decon? I've seen it. And once they eat it, they walk up the floor like this. First thing, you're not quick. You're not quick with little rats and right. little mouse. Yeah. They're so quick. It's like, like man, am I saying things? Right. Yeah. That's how you be. So they eat that decon, then they go like this. Yeah. They'll stand there. That's true. They'll stop. Uh, and then they'll look at you. Yeah. Ooh. And then they'll. <laughs> but I'm telling you, that's how the devil wants God's people to be. Yeah. When you don't believe in God, Jesus. they'll feed you decon, condemnation, false condemnation, depression, oppression, Jesus. fear. Yes. Yes. They'll beat you down. Yes. You know, low self esteem. Yes. Huh? When you got the when you got the seed of Christ hey. on the inside of you, what you doing? What you doing, Philip, and having no self-esteem? What you doing allowing the enemy to fight you with false condemnation? You save us under the power. You let that devil beat you up with the past. Jesus. Yeah. Come on. That's why we got to experience the river. Yes, 
Come on, say, I, I got you to experience the river. Come on. I got to experience the river. The river of God is the Holy Ghost. Yes. See? See, the Holy Ghost, when you, when you allow the river, Lord, you got to flow to you, God allow the Holy Ghost will begin to renew your thinking. He began to renew our, our, our thought pattern. Yes. He began to change our thought pattern what we think. And I don't care, because your mind can be set how you used to think 25 years ago. But I'm going to tell you, as you give to the Holy Ghost, that Holy Ghost can change your mind. I'm telling you. He can transform it by the power of God. Amen. Somebody tell them thank you. Thank you, God. Was that it? No, you said go to 18. Yes. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out doubt. <laughs> Where they better? But it all started from the seed of belief. He that believeth and hold on, hold on. And then defeat your faith. Then defeat your faith. Come on. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Uh huh. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Uh huh. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Uh huh. In my name shall they cast out devils. In my name, you that you're supposed to be casting devils out. Amen. Yes. I say you're supposed to be casting devils out. Yes, Glory to God. Yes, God. Because once you start believing and walking in faith, the Holy Ghost will renew your mind, the river of God flow to your spirit and in your soulless realm. Your mind, your will, your emotions. Listen, when all when that flow to your will and your mind and your emotions, you can't do nothing but follow the Holy Ghost. You can't do nothing but act upon the Holy Ghost. Listen, devils can only come out only by the finger of God. Not your finger, but the finger of God in you, which is the Spirit of God. But you can only awaken the Spirit of God in you unless you yield yourself over to God. And believe on His name. And be business with Him. Amen. And He said these signs. How? Oh, it's going to follow you. You say you're going to catch. Mental ill devil, yes. homosexual devil, lesbian devil, yes. well, I don't care whether it is suicide devil, whatever, he said, I'm going to give you power Amen. to cast that devil out. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come on. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Uh -huh. They shall speak with new tongues. Wait a minute. Glory to God. See? Some of you. I know I know the Spirit of God is in you. But I want I, I want to hear that. I want I want you to be filled. I want to hear some evidence. Amen. I know the Spirit of God is some of you. I know it is. I know it is. But I want to see the evidence. I want evidence. It's time for evidence. It's time for evidence. I want the tongues to come forth. Uh, I believe in God for new tongues, no fresh God. tongues. Yes. I want to hear some holy language up in here. Glory to God. It's time for you to speak a heavenly language unto God. That's right. Thank you, God. Because the devil don't know your, your heavenly language. No, That's why y'all need to be filled in death. Because when you begin to speak in tongues, the enemy don't know what you're saying. Yes. He can't even act upon what you're saying. He can't even intrude on what you're saying because he don't know the language. It's time for you all to speak in your heavenly language. Are you hearing me? Amen. How many believe God to speak in your heavenly language? Raise your hand. I don't see all your hands raising. All every, all every hand is should be raised. That's right. To have the Holy Ghost is a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. To have the Holy Ghost is very serious. Yes, it is. We don't have 
have that what's above. You really got the Holy Ghost like a motor. Here you get your happy self in the car with the kids. <laughs> Tell them, praise God, I'm finna go to Walmart. What's wrong with cotton stuff? Man, bring your, I'm gonna pray for your man to enter in the car. So, having the Holy Ghost, well, you without the Holy Ghost is like a car without the engine in it. That's right. Where do you think you're going? Let me tell you something. I don't know about y'all, but I can't play this thing. I cannot pretend this thing. I got to have God's power moving in my life. Man. I got that. I feel the power got so strong. Yes. Man, we thank you, Jesus. Okay, we got to go praise God. Good time. I got to have it. I do too. I got to have it. 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 You know, the script, you know, the scripture says uh, about tasting a heavenly gift. Yes. Once you have tasted the heavenly gift and the powers of the world to come. See, I tasted of that heavenly gift. It's a spiritual thing. Yep. Once you really get filled with the Holy Ghost, hmm. Yes. Oh, once you really taste that one, yes. it ain't nothing like it. Who shall I carry? Yes. I said, I know I can. Now, y'all know I'm in love with my wife, don't you? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, we like peace and herb. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but that Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Whew, not like it. It ain't not like it. Not as much as I love my wife. Ooh, she can't feel that spot, though. Uh, Holy Ghost. She can't feel that spot. Mm -hmm. I, listen, I ain't never smoked no crack. But they, they say once they get that hit, they say once they get that hit, they say once they get that hit, they say they don't like it. I don't know if that's, that's what they say. And in their mind, they're trying to go out that, that first hit. And they're trying to act like this. Like it's the same thing. And the devil got you. Oh acting all crazy. But it's the same way when God said, ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it. You'll get a dick. Yeah, you and I'm telling you something. And, and listen, sometimes, and you know what? When you taste of that anointing, the power of the word to come, the Holy Ghost, you know when you're being empty. You know when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're losing ground. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You know when you're losing ground. Yes, you do. And see, and, and, and when you get filled, refilled, it's like you want more. Yes. More and more. And you know what? Here's a sign when you know when you feel. Because you start losing those designs of things that That's took up all your time. Yeah. Well, yeah. I find myself, I don't even watch TV like I used to. Yeah. That's it. Are you hearing me? Yes. I don't. Yes. And I love, I, I like boxing. I love boxing. I like football. Ah, huh? Glory to God. I ain't even watch Chicago Bears today. Yes. Getting in this presence. That's a blessing. Huh? Yes. Thank you, Lord. It's in uh, sitcoms that I like, but that's just something that's happening. Yes. Oh, rabba, ba, 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 Yes, God. And I find myself back into his world again. Yeah, rabba, ba, 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 see. God. Because something is turning down in my belly. Yes, it is. And you know what? I'm responding to it. Yes. Ooh, yes. I'm yielding to it. Come on, see. I want to yield to it. I want to yield to it. Yield to it. Yield to it. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's go to that first John. Thank you, God. Fifth chapter, seven through ten. 
Amen. I see my daughter back there. Amen. Sunshine. Praise God. First John 5 and 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Uh-huh. The Father. Uh-huh. The Word. The Word. And the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Uh, there are what? Three what? There are three that bear record in heaven. There are three that bear what record in heaven. Yes. Come on. The Father. The Father's in heaven. The Creator. Come on. The Word. The Word. Come on. The, and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And these three are one. That's why I'm telling you, if you want to get connected to the Father, worship. Worship. Now, when you worship God, you ain't asking God for nothing. You ain't asking, all you're doing is act, giving God the glory. I thank you. I love you. Yeah. Oh, God, you're the crown jewel of heaven. Lord, there's nobody like you, Lord. You're a king of kings, you're Lord of lords. Yeah. God, I lift your name up on high. Yeah. Lord, I worship you, I praise you, I magnify you. God, I join in with the elders that cry unto you, holy, 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 holy is the Lord thy God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I magnify you. Huh? Yes. You get to worship a God like that. You know what it's doing? It's stretching your spirit man open. Amen. And it's allowing the Holy Ghost to infuse your spirit man. Yes. He said, I feel the best witness in heaven, the Father, then he said, the word. We need to come up higher in our study habits. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, I thank the Lord for my daughter back there. She's been faithfully on the word of God. And you're going to, daughter. Ooh, I see that word lighten your spirit yeah. man up. Oh. Amen. I, oh my God. I, you know, I'm like a happy father with his daughter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, my God. Keep up the good work, daughter. Keep it up. Amen. Amen. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Ooh. That, that, listen, listen. The word. We got to come up in our study habits. Say, Lord, come on, lay hands upon your head. Say, Lord, help me to come up on study habits. Lord, help me Say, Lord, give me a craving for your word. Yeah, give me a desire. In the name of Jesus. Lord, give me a hunger. Yeah. Give me a thirst for your word. An appetite. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We got to come up. Yes. And, and you know what? Don't try to be like nobody else in your study habit. If you can just deal with this one verse a day, deal with that. If you just remember my one first, deal with that. And the Holy Spirit, he can he, he increase your study habits. Amen. Now your pastor is a student of God's word. Amen. All these scriptures that I've been giving y'all, the next Sunday, I want everybody to have a pen and pad with you. And I mean that. And I'm not playing. Every member of Chief Power Ministry. Next Sunday, I want to see a pen in a pad. Oh, oh, that's not. Oh, you got notes. Oh, praise God. New technology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, praise God. I, I, yeah. All right. Well, I, I, want, I, want, I want to see the fingers moving in. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, come on. What's that it? The word and the and the Holy Ghost and these three are one. And, these, and there are three that bear witness in earth. Uh huh. The Spirit. Wait a minute. There are three. Yes. I want y'all to listen. Get it. Remember in heaven. What bear, what bears? I want to see y'all listen. For there are wait, three. Wait, wait, wait. Bear witness. That that three that bear witness. With the what bears bear witness in heaven? The Holy Ghost. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Glory to God. Come on. And there are three that bear witness in earth. There are three that bear witness in earth. Come on. The Spirit. The Spirit of God. What we feel right now. What we feel right now. The Spirit of God is like the wind. Now we know you can't see no wind. How many ever seen wind before? Raise your hand. <laughs> Okay, son. Okay. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. You can't see wind, but you can feel it, right? Amen. Amen. That's how the Spirit of God is. 
witness. And that spirit is bear witness. Matter of fact, the Holy Ghost is still in the earth realm right now. That's why the Antichrist, he can't appear. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. The Antichrist, he can, he, 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 but he's going to appear when we get raptured. You think you see evil right now. You think you're just crazy now. It's going to be crazy once God come out to get us. Because when he come and get us, the Holy Ghost is going with us. Are you hearing me? So the Holy Ghost in the earth realm is holding back the son of perdition, which is the spirit of the Antichrist. I mean, the Antichrist himself, the man of sin. Come on. And there are three that bear witness in earth. The spirit uh -huh. and the water. The spirit and the water? Come on, y'all that's been baptized. Raise your hands. Amen, amen. amen. Uh huh. That's what it's talking about. The yep. spirit and the water, come on. And the blood. The spirit. So it's the spirit of God and then us being baptized, going down the old, coming up the new, and then the blood of Jesus. Yes. Let blood. me tell you something. The blood is not going to work effectively, amen, effectively. The blood, it, I mean, when, if it do work, I guarantee you it's on the behalf of other believers that's being the blood for you. But if you want the blood to work for you in a mighty way, amen, you got to go down. All that past got to be buried, and you got to come up in the newness of life. And, then, and you got to, we got to practice this word and walk in the spirit. Amen. And then the blood of Jesus will be a reality to you. Amen. Glory to God. When you plead the blood, glory to God. You, you plead, you plead the blood because you know him. The Bible says the people that know that God shall be what? Strong and do great exploits. So you plead the power, you plead the very assistance of Christ. Thank you, God. You plead the sinless, sinless blood of Jesus. You plead the redemption blood of Jesus. And demonic spirits and evil spirits hate the blood. They can't take the blood. Take the blood. The blood too powerful. Oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. Anytime one man get down the cross and his sins, the, him being slain before the foundation of the world, and his, and the, his blood, the Bible said, out came blood and water from his side. And it cleansed the whole world of their sins. That's some powerful blood there. Matter of fact, Jesus took our sin upon himself. Amen. That we may be blessed. By God. The Bible said Jesus was tempted in all points, yet without sin. Mm -hmm. That means Jesus was tempted with lust. He was tempted to gamble. See, y'all might think like that. Y'all might think like that. Getting drunk. He was tempted to get drunk. He was tempted in all points. He had to feel what we felt. Mm -hmm. Order for it to work. Amen. He was in all point, but yet without sin, he didn't yield. Oh, Lord, good teacher. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank That's you. good. Thank you, Jesus. This is good stuff, ain't it? Yes, good. I'm going to read something to you. The conditions of receiving the Spirit means to thirst. To thirst means. The eager, to be eager, to be king. Yeah. It means the all-consuming craving. It is all-consuming. It is craving and passion of soul for a complete union with God and the fullness of the Spirit. See, that's what it means when you're thirsty. You become eager. I've never been so eager to seek God in my life. And I've been saved since I was 19 years old. But something has happened that I can't explain it. Hallelujah. But I never been so, but that's a sign of that you're thirsty. Because you get up at 5 in the morning, you get up at 4 in the morning. 
You become eager to the things of God. Keen to the voice of God. The all-consuming craving and, and pack the, the passion of the soul for a complete union with God. You just want to be with God. And the fullness of the Spirit. Come on, say, fullness of the Spirit. Fullness of the Spirit. How many want the fullness of the Spirit? Yeah. Jesus. Psalm 6, 3 and 1. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm challenging y'all as the prophet and as the pastor and the apostle at this church. I'm challenging y'all with apostolic authority that after today, I challenge you to see God like never before. I challenge you to be provoked to godly jealousy. That's not an evil. To be godly jealous is not evil. To be God of jealousy is like, I want what he want. I, I want what he did. Yes. Amen. Yes. After today, as, 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 as your apostle, as your prophet, as your pastor, under the authority and unction of the Holy Ghost, after today, you will have a godly jealousy. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I challenge you that after today, you're not going to be satisfied with yourself. Yes. You are not going to be satisfied on the level that you want. Yes. I challenge you to come up higher. Somebody tell them thank you. Come on. Yes, Psalm 63 and 1. Oh God, thou art my God. Oh Jesus. You are my God. Come on. Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. Early. My God. Early. Yeah. Come on, say early. 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 I'm going to seek you. Early. That's when you get See, that's that eagerness. Yes. See, come on. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee. My soul thirsted after you, Lord. Come on. Oh, God. My flesh longed for thee. My flesh even longed for you. I, I'm at a point where, where the, I'm at a point, I'm, I'm, I'm so hungry, but Lord, I'm, the devil can't even fight me in my flesh in certain areas. That's what that happened too. I'm so hungry, when, 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 when I was weak and vulnerable, the devil can't even fight in those weak areas no more because the Lord got all of my full attention. Yes, Lord. That's way more Come on. My flesh longing for thee in a dry and thirsty land. In a dry and thirsty land. My flesh is longing for God. Thank you. Yes. yes. Dry and thirsty land. Dry. Where no water is. Oh my God, no one no is. My God. So that's the uh -huh. Some, a lot of you out there is at that place too. Yeah. Not a dry place. Yeah. It ain't no water. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let you know something. It ain't the devil got you there either. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. The devil said, the devil said, that wasn't me that time. 